Hello, it's Wednesday, and it's a Duck Hook show. We've got plenty to talk about, so I'm excited to be with you. We had whew, two events that's just happened, the Thursday series at Ibotzi, and then straight away, Silver Lakes, and um, that was on Sunday. Now, we have to look forward to the Players' Championship that's happening at Blair Athol. I'm coming to you from Pazula um, Golf Estate, which I'm going to show you in a second how beautiful it is, if you have not been here yet. But uh, let me introduce the guys who will be taking... And joining me through the next hour, we've got uh, Friggy on top, Donnie now at the bottom. Cause it's four hours. And Donna, Silver Lakes champion. Hello, Donna. Welcome back Hi. on the show. Um, how, how's it been? How's the signature signing been going? How's the hype around your victory happen? Yeah, it's been going good. I mean, I'm still enjoying it. Keep watching the, the interviews every <laughs> like, two or three times a day. Um, Just to remind yourself. <laughs> Yeah, what nope. actually doing again after a while. Yes. So if you didn't know, the last time Donna won was at Silver Lakes, and that was what two years ago. Yeah, about two or three years ago. Yeah. So, so you obviously love that golf course. I don't know. I, I like fast greens, and I think you know that's that's what actually helped me at uh, Silver Lakes this time around. But we've played on many fast greens, and you don't play well on those fast greens. It must yeah, be Silver well, Lakes. Well, you guys saw what happened at Highland Gate. I mean, those are lightning fast, right? <laughs> places. Um, yes, uh, let me, let's just quickly, uh, Donia, you played both rounds. How was your both rounds? Uh, yeah, scale from one to ten, I would say like a four or five. Okay. Uh, golf was uh, a <clears throat> tale of two nines on both sides, but uh, the big thing was, uh, uh, well, not Silver Lakes, but... Um, the previous one is like we played a team game, so that was the oh, yes. the, the the crucial crucial game, and uh, yeah, I was just out there having some fun at Silver Lakes. So, so, Flick, so yeah, well, Flicky, yes. If people don't know, the mighty ducks that have split have gone through this entire team match play um, series and landed up playing each other in the semi-finals. What does it actually tell you? Could you guys not play together, or is this going to be the final of the, the team match play here? It's 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 it's, it's Fricky's fault for, for for us breaking up. He decided to, like at the end of our our, our run, he decided to be a scratch golfer. So mm. yeah, Mazza, to, to answer that one, I think we we both made good choices because we both now in the semi-finals. Unfortunately, only one team can go to the final though, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I believe that we're playing at the uh, Morefontein, so uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Mighty Duck 1 against Mighty Duck 2. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Are you going to be wearing your um, rugby box shirt? No, we're going to wear our Fatty Simone shirts. Okay, just checking. <laughs> just checking. So, anyway, before we get on to everything, uh, let me just uh, show you a bit of a video, a video of what Pazula actually looks like. So, the reason I'm down here is because the, the final of the Vodacom Origins of Golf will be uh, the beginning of November. And we had to come do a site visit. But this is what it looks like. And if you guys ever get the opportunity to be in Neisner, book it. Flicky will tell you how awesome it is. Yeah. Is that? Uh, Mazza, uh, Ricky, it's awesome you said you there. only played it in the in the clouds. Yeah, we we, we played uh, last year. I think it was last year uh, in the rain. Me, Yaku, Davi was there. Hiriel Richter was also there. So yeah, it was a couple of guys uh, played in the in the rain. And uh, yeah, looking at these pictures with the sun, it's a different course though, but it's beautiful, man. Yeah, stunning, stunning. It's one of a kind. It's in my top five. I must be honest. The guys watching on the line, uh, Cyril says, Nah, ducks, is it Sunday yet? First time at Play Athol. I'm glad that you're joining, Mr. Sea Monster. Mart says, Nah, ducks. Ian says, How's it, ducks? Gerard's name says, Hello, ducks. Hello, here we go again. Hello, quacks. Hansi, uh, Play Athol. Hope it's not a bad Athol. It will be a very <laughs> awesome Athol. Uh, Louis Jen says, Evening all. Looking forward to Play Athol. First time playing there. I'm sure it's going to be a treat. 
Right, we'll have a look at all to do with Blair Athol very, very shortly. But let us go on to what's happening October, because October events are open and ready to book, if you haven't already. And Acacia is around the corner, everybody. Within two weeks, we or even less, we are at Acacia for Sunday Series 1. It is a 7 a.m. start. Now, there's an extra game booked at Kilani on the 15th of October. So let's see how many of our boys want to play there. Uh, I urge you, if you need to uh, catch up on singles or team games, that's another opportunity for you. Otherwise, it's just going to be a Sunday social. Uh, Thursday series at Benoni Country Club. Donnie just played there today, and he says, uh, interesting. It's, it's coming right now with uh, the winter season over. Uh, Modafontaine, 22nd October from half past uh, 11. And you might be asking, why is it 22nd October all of a sudden? It was the 29th. Yeah, unfortunately, when I... Uh, we confirmed the course. There was the Gauteng Golf Union or have taken the whole 29th and they had to ask us to move to the 22nd. So I said, fine. Let us do it. Let us do it. Okay. Let us go back to Ibotzi. First of all, uh, and this is it. What a finish. Even par, even par, even par. Myself, George Hunter, Nico Roots were all in the hunt at a point and Carl van Mullen also in the hunt at a point. And uh, it all came down to a hell of a count back which I was very fortunate to be taking on the stroke one. Thank goodness I up and down from uh, behind the green to make that par, to uh, take it on account back. But well played, George Hunter. Also new to golf. He's only really been playing for a year. He plays off about a 29. So he had a good round going. Uh, Nico was minus four at a stage with three holes to go, just to show you. But Bon Knutzer tied fourth with Simon on plus one. Uh, Adam Ian also on tied six with Carl and Kevin and Leon. Um... Yeah, boys, uh, that was very topsy-turvy. I'm sure for the guys watching the live scoring, they must have been thinking, what's going on? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> Mazer. Uh, you must share your uh, scorecard to, to us because uh, it, it's very interesting. I'll do At that some right point, I, I SMS you and you said you, you kind of choked on this one and obviously mm. you can see the last two holes. But uh, yeah, tell us about your, your game, uh, especially that little birdie there. So I was very um, fortunate in the beginning. I'm going to go through this as quick as possible for those who don't know. Like on the first hole where I made 6-1, I actually hit that into the houses on the left <laughs> and got to the bottom and found it um, in the red stakes, but playable. So I managed to get away with a 6-1. Then the par 3, the, the, the second, I also hit it into the banks on the right and it bounced back into play. And I got two points. The third was fine. There's the stroke. But then I went par, par on the, the, the fourth and the fifth, which helped. And I had a good run going. And then the seventh, I'd, I hit a great drive through the mountains. Then I was just short of the green, chip and a putt, made the four points. And then the three, I didn't stroke, made a four there. And then uh, I gave two shots back, 19, so messed it up a bit. Then I had a nice run, my best run around Ibotzi ever, if you look at 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, because uh, yeah. I didn't drop a shot there. And just to make a six on that uh, 12th is amazing, because that never happens. <laughs> and then I was really cruising. Uh, and I was three under after the 16th, and then I gave a shot back because I couldn't find my drive on the 17th. Just, I hit it a bit right, we couldn't find it. So I was like, oh, it's capitulating already. I managed to make the one point at least. And then the, seven, the 18th was a disaster. I had a nice drive in the middle of the fairway, had a five iron mine to lay up, and I topped the five iron. And it just rolled and rolled and rolled, and left and left and rolled and more left. And it went into the blue stakes. And then I dropped, and they hit another one in the blue stakes. That was over. And then I just sat there going, oh, my goodness. Nico better win this. Because if I have to lose this because um, of this, I'm going to cry. And then the next minute, he was even. And then Carl von Mullen was on the first. On the 18th, I ran down to him because he was minus two the last I heard. And then Ian said to me, he's out. Two hours gone. I was like, what's happening? So, yeah, very interesting. So, very, very lucky. I spoke to some of the guys afterwards, and this is uh, their comments on the day. Feeling great. Yes, such a surprise. At the, I thought I had it, and then at the end, I messed up the last hole, and I thought I chucked it away. But then looking at the live scoring, there was a, other guys who also struggled in the last hole, so the luck went my way today. I think I had my fair share of it. There was a lot of holes. There's three or four holes where I should have been out of bounds or red stakes, managed to either find the ball or the ball came back in and then capitalized I, I, I did a, I scored a lot of points I putted very well so I'm happy with that um, really enjoyed it it was calm and um, it wasn't really scoreboard pressure so I knew what I was doing I just made a terrible swing on the last last hole to put myself 
what I thought was our contention, but very happy to take it in the end. Um, two victories in a year. I've been waiting five years to get one victory, so I'll take two victories. Um, and hopefully the rest of the season I can keep playing better. So you almost did it. Almost. How are you feeling? Almost. Yeah, good. Um, a lot of tough holes, silly mistakes. It's golf, you know. Sometimes golf giveth, sometimes golf uh, taketh. Today it uh, tooketh. <laughs> but no, it's always good fun. Always, always good the best fun. party game. Uh, to be honest, just being able to play on a Thursday. It was uh, Ibati is always a beautiful course. It's always good fun to play golf, and uh, you know, having a great bunch of guys to play with on a Thursday makes it worthwhile. Did you know what the situation was on the last hole? I did. I did. I knew it was close. Um, and then, yeah, I headed into like the, I don't know what it's called, like the natural out of bounds and I had to take a drop shot, which uh, ruined it. It was quite lacquer, like not playing enough at the moment, so I was surprised how I was playing, but enjoyed it. Putting was well, uh, or not well, was great. Um, I think when I started counting my putts with the last three holes that I buggered up, um, I had 21 putts, so not bad day at all. Birdie to actually three of five stroke, one, two and three. No. I struck one, two, and four, so yeah. Unlucky about the, the finish, you were there. Yeah, it's one of those things, that's why it's called golf, eh? Yeah. Two good things came out of the day. Top five finish, talk about that one first. How was top five? Lovely. Um, I struggled a bit uh, on the greens. I had three, three putts for 75. Um, didn't make any uh, th anything uh, on the greens, unfortunately, but the race was good. Uh, really uh, drove the ball well. Um, approach shots was great, So, but other than that, yeah. Um, still very happy. And the other positive thing, you are now leading Thursday series by probably three shots. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm coming for all of you <laughs> and, the, and the and the and the ones below me. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I, I actually had a look at the, the the future events for the Thursday League in the in the next uh, the upcoming events, and um, yeah, it's courses I quite enjoy as well. And hopefully, I can keep the momentum going. Well played, Barnes. Off a two handicap, one handicap to uh, be leading the series now, which he is. Um, that's some great golf, gents. You know all about it, Donny. Taking multiple trophies off a one handicap. <laughs> I know it's, it's it's hard to keep it uh, keep it going because uh, you know any any one round where you're just not on song and uh, you, you're not playing well and you score like a 28, 27 points, hmm. um, you can fall down the leaderboard easily. So yeah. Kudos to him. Except for you, because you're also climbing the leaderboard. I'm going to show you now, now but let's just show you the pins. Fricky. These were the people who won on the day. Yeah, so we've got the par 3-8, uh, Mr. George Hunter, uh, winning the Golf Raid Hydrosport. Uh, par 4 10th, uh, Lucky Janssen, getting a Golf Concept voucher. And in a par 3 11th, Mr. Hansi Hammond, uh, winning the Strix on uh, Tau. Football Alliance, if you want to know, uh, minus 14, 86 points. Look at that, eight points in the first hole. What's happening there? Jeez. Must sure. have been two birdies there. Four points. Yes. Yeah. Two stroking birdies. A seven pointer on the third, a seven pointer on the seventeenth. Seventeenth is not an easy hole. So I think but I think that's the stroke too. So the the high handicapper guys came to the party on this one. Just to put in perspective, um oops, uh, I was actually trying to do that. Uh I, oh, there's another four ball that tied them on eighty six points. There we go, Leon, uh, Luki, Carl, and Ian also tied them. They've got an eight-pointer on the fifth, wow. which is at par five, right, down the hill. Um, and on the tenth is seven-pointer. So uh, pretty good going from them. I think uh, yeah. Mr. Carl cost them on the 17th. Otherwise, they could have taken this outright. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. For yeah. sure. Um, yeah, but as always, it's lovely playing your Botsy. The course was in good condition. I thought the greens were... The greens were rolling very true. Um, nothing to fault, Donny, at all. Yeah, um, yeah. Ibotsi was actually really good condition. Um, you know, can't fault it. You know, it's mm. always in good nick. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, I enjoyed playing it. You know, obviously, it's like uh, we were focusing on team games there. But, uh, yeah, good nick. Always like to play there. As if I can ask her before. Okay, you've shown this now, but uh, your rating for the course? I'll give it to you after this one. Uh, Baron Knutzer, as we mentioned, leading 268 points. He's two shots ahead of, uh, or points ahead of uh, Jean de Toy, our 2022 champion. Ian has moved up from fifth to third on 265. Edwards uh, dropped from second to fourth on 264. And then uh, Vickers Albers, 263. So it's pretty much 
still very close. You know, anything can happen in the top five here. Uh, Donnie, you are there on seventh. Jason's moved in t- finally with two victories because so unfortunately he missed a round. He's moved into the top ten now. Um, so that's how the standings looks with two rounds to go. My rating would be eight out of ten. Not even ten out of ten with that win. Never have ten. Just back to back wins for you, man. <laughs> No, oh, no, no. If I went 10 under, I might have given it that. Um, <laughs> yes. Donna, how do you like uh, Ibotzi? Do you play well there? Um, generally, I do play well there because um, you know, I don't need to drive out often. Mm-hmm. And Ibotzi, you can work your way around it. Mm-hmm. As if you're striking the ball well. I think it's... I, I like the greens there. Hmm. You've got to be positive around Ibotzi. If you're yeah. trying to always be defensive, I think it can catch you. So you really yeah. got to be aggressive to the spots you're aiming at and just try to hit it on those mm-hmm. spots. But if yeah. you're nursing things, it could be a bit of an issue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's it. Now we move to Silver Lakes, which is this last Sunday. Great day out at Silver Lakes. Um, I'm going to ask everybody to rate it as well. Um, from my point of view, it's such a nice setting. I was a bit disappointed in the greens. I think I've made that clear. I thought they were patchy at points with some sand on them. But generally, besides the delay, I, th- I, I enjoyed it. I thought the course was in good nick, and it's always a different layout. What did you guys think? Yeah, Mazo, from my side, uh, you know, if I had to give it a rating, I'm, I'm definitely going to give it like a, a course rating for seven and a half to maybe eight. Um, obviously, the, the delay and, you know, the Rico roll in the beginning stages was a bit of a negative uh, pointer for me personally. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the course was in a good nick. Uh, we were playing slow though, um, but yeah, it's great. I mean, course was looking really cool. great. To me, the greens was okay. Um, I didn't find any bad patches, just poor putting. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Mm. Mr. Paramal, you are the champ. <laughs> you must, what are your ratings? Well, I'm also going to rate it like seven and a half to eight. I think the course was in good condition. Um, I like the setup of that course. Um, I found the greens a little bit hard, but not sandy. Um, so I think, you know, that's that's where I actually scored yeah. by playing short of the greens in, in, you know, in, in most instances than just running it up. Yeah. Um, I, I, I did get lucky in finding the pace of the greens Quickly. Uh, very quickly. <clears throat> Which does help. I, I was struggling with the pace, to be honest. I was like, some a bit short, some a bit mm. long. Donnie, how did you go? Yeah, like, I felt, like okay, let, let's go course condition. You know, I would also go um, seven, seven and a half. Um, I will be honest, like uh, Fricky mentioned, the the fact that they were, we were a little bit late and, and everything did put a bit of a bad taste in the mouth. You know, considering they... Um, you know, chased you guys uh, that that same morning for for the payment uh, like POP, you know, for for the group, you know, just to, the the way they just went about it, I think that just left a little bit of a sour taste. So, mm. you know, am I going to go back there quite soon? I don't think so. Um, but considering course, I can't fault. Um, the greens were a little bit. I think they've been better. You know, it's like I just found they were just a little bit inconsistent. That, you know, some hard bounces, some of it soft, some of it quick, some of it slow, you know, and it was just not, I, I struggled with the pace. You know, a whole, a whole four ball struggled. So, so yeah, it was just, yeah, I struggled there a bit. Let's have a look at some of the comments that the guys are dropping in. There's one good quick pointer here. Um, Louis says pin placements was, hmm. <laughs> I agree. Some of those pin placements were impossible. Yeah. Just look at the 17th. Yeah. Oh, get there. There was a lot yeah. tucked away. But I know I'm surprised you uh, were seven under with those pin placements. You had the shots, man. You had the, what, an uh, eight, nine handicapper. So, yeah, it's, it's easy to just put that on the green and two part, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's if you're reading the greens well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the pace right. But yeah, I think I think the, the the one pin that I really really hated was what was that the thirteenth? It was like right at the front on the sure. ground, and yeah, the you know, just before the green, there's like it's it's an elevated green. Yeah, yeah. You stop yeah. the ball there. I thought there was a rule about how far from the the fringe mm. a ball could be. Yeah, there there is. I'm not too sure. I think it's like a meter, meter and a half. Yeah, that it can be, um, and. Yeah, yeah. Also, there was a couple of pin placements that I stood there and I looked from the edge and I was like, "Yeah, this is, this is close." 
Um, I don't know who had a bad night. It was the, the pro shop staff or the greenkeeper. But, you know, to set those pins up, even for those juniors that was playing the competition in the morning, that's like, yeah, that's next level stuff, I would say. Graham says 6.5 for me, Silver Lakes Greens, too patchy. Uh, Ian says Silver Lakes is 6, Hard Greens, not a true run. So I think it's pretty much the same uh, thought mm. pattern. Uh, this was the top 10, just to remind everybody. Uh, Donna took it on minus 3, 39 points. Stefan Lombard, minus 2, had a good round. Henry Sims, first time I see him up there that high, minus 1. Moritz, minus 1. Neville, good round from him, minus 1. And then there's a big jump to Louis Jensen and Vimpy on plus 3s. Then Grant and Valen are plus fours. Adam plus five. That's where the top ten is standing at plus five. Uh, Donna, this was your scorecard. Do you want to take us through it very quickly? Look at that front nine. 35. Gross. Yes, I mean, I started... Um, I think the first two holes, I just like hit the fairways. And, and in my mind, I was not trying for the pins. Hmm. And I think that's what actually helped me for most of the front nine. I was aiming for the middle of the green or just short of the green to run up because... Silver Lakes was quite hard. Um, I think in most places in the front nine, I actually did attack the course a little bit, mm. where I was, you know, going aggressive over the bunkers, and and, and I knew where my middle was in the front nine. Mm. Um, did get lucky. I think it was in hole number six, the hole number five, where I hit the seven wood into the into the hazard. I think that was a split fairway with. Yeah. Um, with the stream running through, and when I went and looked, I could see the ball just slightly above the water in some reeds. Huh. And I played it out of there, and I was just between the green and the bunker, just you know, long, long the green between the bunker, and I two parted from that fringe. Um, Talk about so those two blowouts there, zero zero. Yeah, so. <laughs> So 11 and 12, I had really good drive, sand wedge in on 11, pitching wedge in on that stroke one, and I parted really well. And that's when I looked at the leaderboard and I saw it was like minus seven. Mm. And I said, where the hell is everyone else? I think the next person was like, like even. I think you were the only one in red numbers and by that yeah. far. Yeah, and then when I stood on that, uh, that part three tee box, I said, okay, you know, I came here with a different strategy, now I'm changing. Yeah, I'm gonna like protect this lead and try to win. Protect the etiquette. That, that's what you actually meant. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that's where, you know, my mistake actually was. And um, I should have just continued playing, you know, with a bit of aggression, middle of the green yeah. type thing. Here on that silly little, little bar three, I tried to run it up. And unfortunately, I ran it into the water. Um, the par five as well, you know, I tried to play safe because I knew I stroked there. All I needed was like a, a bogey, two points, and I, you know, I'll be safe. Played my three word laid up short of of the hazard you know knowing i had the distance to actually just be short of the green i was trying to play safe and didn't really work mm. next hole i just went back to my normal game there you go. got back on track yeah. at least uh, for a little while um let's have a year uh, we've heard from don i'm going to hear from him again but uh, some of the other guys have uh, also shared their comments after the round Yeah, no, I'm actually quite very happy to win again. Uh, it's been a while since I actually won on one of these events. And second time at Silver Lake, so uh, I think I like the scores. So you were running away with it on minus six. Tell us about your first nine. Yeah, the first nine I was uh, actually reading the greens quite well. I wasn't missing much fairways and uh, I did hit, I think, one of my drives into the hazard, but played out of the hazard back onto the green. Um, yeah, so I actually had a good run in the I think of minus one growth after 12 holes yeah. and then the scoreboard pressure started to kick in yeah and then i managed to pull it off you know towards the end um with you know a lot of help from my uh, playing partners who, who, who kept me focused um, once you realize that you've taken it weight to the shoulders yeah it's been it's been a while since i won so i'm actually quite happy well played well done thank you Terrible at the beginning, but then it just got paused, 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 and then now I'm second, so and we're minus two, so I'm happy. And I 
uh, to get two birdies and birdie the last hole. Yeah. So yeah, it was a great and it was a lengthy hole, lengthy putt. So no, it was a great, great day. Great what day. was the best part of your day today? Um, I can maybe maybe my driving. My driving was very straight and a little bit to the left, and, but uh, but it was straight and, and I can hit from it, so it's fine. Ah, excellent. Uh, enjoyed the course a lot today. Um, played well, made a lot of pause, no birdies, unfortunately. Yeah. Had a few chances, but yeah, enjoyed it a lot. Played with friends, always a good day. We're more interested in about the hole in one you got in the first round today at Wingate. Talk yeah. us through that. Yeah, me and Stefan, we played Wingate this morning. Uh, just after six we teed off and then uh, second last hole hit a perfect shot and went in the hole. Wow, and first, first one? Including today, yes, first one. Drinks. Drinks. Tell me, how was your game? Um, it's like also, it's like how are you feeling? Also, uh, Daddy, I was like, so surprised when you said I'm, I'm sitting second. Um, the golf wasn't really wasn't the best today. Um, but yeah, just, just consistent, just getting it up, getting the holes finished, you know, um, making points here and there. So now I'm happy, very, very tough that I'm there, but yeah, as, as surprised. I like, really didn't expect to be sitting there. So, But the course is playing tough today. The pin placements were, were quite hectic. Um, so yeah, no, but but good round around. But. I, I think I think the pin placements were like diabolical, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it looked like sounds uh, uh, looked like it was easy for you. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I think it's, it's, I've been playing. Yeah, very, I've been really battling lately. So yeah, no, it was just just nice to to finish the holes and you know get up there. So no, but it was nice. It's just, I did enjoy the day. So all good. Nice to see Neville played well. I played with him at a party and he did mm. struggle a bit. So uh, just shows you how golf form can uh, move around from left to right, up and down. You just don't know what's happening, Donnie. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like he, yeah, we, we were fortunate to play together and like you could just see he had fun. He was, he had a couple of bad shots here and there, mm. but he always kept it in play. And that was the nice thing. There we go. Pins, boys. We had four of them and Donnie took another one. Yeah, so let me do that. So we've got the par four fifth. We've got Yaku Yaku uh, getting the golf concert voucher. Uh, par three ninth, golfer eight. Uh, Donny, I've got it there with me. Uh, you might have lost like three or four already, but uh, I'll just, <laughs> just <take saying. laughs> Par three thirteenth, the airstone, Mr. <coughs> Leon Duplessis. And then uh, par three sixteenth, Vickers Lee getting the Swixon uh, towel. I think that's his second, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I mean, might be, yeah, he's starting a store. He's starting yeah. A store. <laughs> I've got two. Yeah. Oh, oh I hold one for you. I I Alami is one of them, and I don't remember the other one. But you had one, and you gave me one. <laughs> uh, Football Alliance on the day. The man in green with Grant. 91 points. I'm not surprised that they had won it the way they played, finishing second and third. Two seven-pointers on the first and the fourth. But uh, very consistent at the end of the day. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, four points all the way through. So 91 is not too bad. Um, to put it in perspective, how the other guys did, minus 18. So oh. this is odd that on the leaderboard, they are 90 points. But on that thing, they are not. Odd. Yeah, that is. Hmm. Um, myself, my formal, minus 12. Look at that. So they won by six. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. Minus nine, minus four, minus four. So uh, it did look like the guy struggled a bit there to be consistent. Well, at least, you know, try to be consistent. Uh, par threes, fours, and fives. Mm. Who won? Stefan Lombard taking the best of the par threes on three under. A nice little four point on the ninth. So he must have birdied that hole. Very nice birdie for that hole. Even with the one point, he's taken on 11 to overall points. George Hunter, myself, is also two under with uh, Shandon. What did I do? Two, two, three, three. Okay. Didn't seem so. I normally struggle on par threes, so I'll take it anyway it comes. Uh, is Donna in this? No, Donna doesn't like the par threes, obviously. <laughs> That's the one par three I've Does Donna like the par fours? Mine is seven through the par fours, so that's wow. where all the scoring happened, and then you gave all the shots back on the other holes. That's very good. Look at that stretch. Four, five, six, eight, ten. Three pointers. So you well, that's five shots just there. Yeah. Sure, that's incredible. 27 points. Wow. Uh, Henry, minus four. Uh, Moritz and Vimpy, minus one. Any of our crew? Barnard, plus one. It's okay, I suppose. Donnie, plus two. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave it at that then. 
Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> par fives. Really? Stefan Lombard, minus four on the par fives. Uh, new uh, duck, Gerard Butter, minus two. Where is Padana? No, Padana's not here either. No. He's made all the points in the par fours, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Even uh, none of us are on the par fives, so we didn't obviously didn't play the par fives very well. Mm. Uh, but yeah, three points, three points, three points, three points for Stefan Lombard. That's pretty good. Well done, Stefan. Uh, we wanted to uh, just look at the hole ranks quickly, right? The hardest hole was the 13th at par three. That we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, that was a ridiculous uh, pit location for that thing, uh, as Donnie mentioned. So uh, yeah, it's uh, no wonder that was difficult. Averaging just over one point. That's yeah. Bad. What yeah. is the second artist hole? Uh, looks like the 11 and 12. So look at that amen corner. 11, 12, 13 was the hardest three holes. But 11th, the pin was also tucked around the corner. No, the second hardest mass is 18. Yeah. Huh? Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. 18. It's a, it's a bit surprising though, because it wasn't that that difficult though, eh? Yeah, but when you have when you have to lay up, it already is, takes shots out of it. Yeah, most probably. Yeah. Pricky, I lost two balls on 18, and I was three times in the hazard. So that must tell you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like Donnie must have blown his lid then. Uh, uh, yeah. Easiest hole in the course was the eighth. I also find that difficult to believe, but it is the stroke too. So the double strokers would have uh, contributed to that 1.81. Almost two, but yeah, it is a uh, quite low, if I, to be honest. Yeah. You yeah. want to see how the standings look? This is how the standings look. Donna Piramal is now mm-hmm. leading Sunday two by a country mile, <laughs> which is the definition of a country mile is seven points. With two <laughs> rounds to go, Donna is either going to have to not pitch up, or um, have all four rounds of golf to throw this away because that's a lot of points to um, hang on to, Donna. Yeah, it is. Um, the modern chain is going to be interesting. It's not a course that I've played uh, often, so I'm just not sure what my um, strategy is going to be on the day. But I just want to protect, you know, some kind of lead going into Royal Joburg East because that's a player's course and that can hurt you really, really badly if you if you're not striking the ball well. Yeah, Don, uh, Donny, twelve points back. I think you got yeah. no chance in the 16 points. <laughs> so pretty much we look at the top three ish uh, for anything to come out of it. But um, I think, Donna, you just have to hang on and you'll be okay. But well done to the guys currently in the Sunday 2 shootout team. Let me add that. This is what the player of the season looks like on average. Grant Nell is on 35. I, uh, 130, I can tell you, he dropped from 135. Um, the last game to 130, so he's going to start coming down. So as long as um, Jason, Yaku, Martin, Dani, Fricky, and can you believe myself? I don't know, hey, I'm, I'm seventh there suddenly. Um, I suppose two victories does help. Two, uh, two wins will help you. Mm. Mm. Um, we're right there, but Grant, you, you know, just has to keep plodding along, and uh, you should take it to the end of the day. We'll see Mate, he's still in any singles or team games? No, he's out. Of all of yeah, them. so yeah. so that that will cost him a bit because I think Don yeah. Donny obviously is in both. Yeah. I mean, one, I think you still in the singles, eh? Who? You. you. No, I'm out. Vickers beat. Are you me. also out? No. Okay, okay. No, Vickers beat me. So there's a couple of guys that still can make it. I mean, uh, yeah. Is Grant in the singles. singles still? I can't remember. He might be. I, I thought remember. Yako beat him. I yes. think Yako did. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yaku 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 you're right. Still you're right. Yeah. yeah. Well done. So the thing is, that's also another thing. If Yaku's still in, you know, it's like that mm. can that can change when all that uh, comes to almost closing. In yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Let's uh, move on. I've got uh, a little funny for you. Uh, I like picking on the pro shops in the golfers club. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this one. <laughs> You get it? You get it? Yeah. Yes. I'm sure you get it. <laughs> Not happening. Been there, done that. You know, when you rock up there and they give you that seven iron to test and you're hitting that seven iron to 180 meters every time, you're like, wow, yeah. what a load of crap. Anyway. Well done. What's that? You do that as well. Negative, sir. Negative. <laughs> that I can tell you. Everybody that comes for a fitting with me is like, I'm stuck in my way, so I show everything. Uh, but... Uh, 
Yeah, no, I've heard some funny stories over the years. Uh, Peter's given his comment about uh, Sunday. You can just read it there. Uh, Ian's only one player in the top 10 without a win. Ooh, that's a nice comment. Ian, I'm going to have to go back to see who that is now. It's probably Ian, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well done, Ian. You singled yourself out there. <laughs> Not too late. We still got what six, seven, eight events left. You can do yeah. it. Just win it, play Athol, and you sort it. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to quickly t- touch on is: Did you know that the putt is, the putting distance for the PGA Tour makes rate is eight feet is fifty percent? That's the example they're using. So don't be too hard on yourself. We were calculating how many feet is what. So a Tour Pro three feet is one meter basically, makes it ninety six percent of the time. A scratch ninety three. A 90 plus handicap 84. If we move it down to eight feet, which is what, three meters? Well, what did we say? 2.4, isn't it? 2.4. Eight 2.4. feet, 2.4 meters. The pros make it 50 percent of the time. Yeah, Correct. 10 foot was 10 foot was three meters. 10 foot, three meters. So the uh, 90 plus is 20 percent of the time. Scratch golf for 33 and a to a pro 40. Look at 30 feet, which is 10 meters, seven percent of the time. 90 is 2. Donna, you were putting so well at Silver Lakes, you would have uh, upped the average there for the for the, the golfers. <laughs> right. But, but Maz, here's the funny thing. If, mm. you, if you think about it, it's like with all the golf shows, and I know you, like obviously you're in that sort of field now, but I, I think what happens in America and in, in, in the UK is like with the broadcasters there, they just show you the putts that's being held. So we get the perception mm. of the pros are holding everything, but we actually don't realize that half the field is actually missing some of those putts. Mm. Um, and, and you can see with that, so that averages, you know, it's, yeah. it's they, they actually, also those guys can miss, miss putts. They can also play bad shots. And that's what we don't realize. The one thing that you also, I find amazing is that, that especially when, when I'm covering it, is the guys less further down the leaderboard are visibly not playing as well. They're not making the putts. They're not making the close mm-hmm. chips. And as you get to the guys on top of the leaderboard, you see how all of a sudden they make it look so much easier because they're on a run and they're playing it so much better. Um, but yes, in TV sense, you are trying to show, especially on the PGA Tour and the DP, where they've got a mm-hmm. lot of coverage, you are showing the best of the best shots. You don't, they don't want to show guys on plus 10 and plus 8. You are yeah. never see that. Um, mm-hmm. So you don't see as many of the bad shots. You see more of the good stuff. Unless it's the last two pairings who are in contention, but they are playing the best golf. Yeah. 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 Right. Boys, it's the major coming up on Sunday at Blair Athol. It's the first time we're back at Blair Athol for the longest of times. I cannot even remember how long since. uh, I remember who won when we played Blair Athol at one time. It was a guy called Tim Hasluck. Anybody remember Tim Hasluck? Yeah. Yeah. And I missed that one as well. Hey? He's in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think he's in the UK now. But this is the past champions starting... Oh, I've done 20... What have I done with these um, numbers? Look at the dates. Yes, the dates. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> it looked like a loop. Anyway, it's 2014, <laughs> Rudolf van der Berg. 2015, Liam Delcom. 2016, Albert Weichel. 2017 is... Oh, I might even have this one. Wayne Jensen. No, so obviously Weichel was 2018. Liedem was 2017, Rudolf was 2016. That's where I've gone wrong. Uh, yes. The last winner is Jaku Jakobs. It was the 18-0 playoff. Yes. Uh, couldn't be finished out the Eye of Africa. And then they had to go on to against Grant to, I don't know where they played that. Uh, and then um, Jaku took it. Where did they play that? They played that at South Downs. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I think it was South Downs. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it was South Downs. I'll give you some info, Blair Athol. Ranked number six in the country. Black Tees which is the backpack, and they have their off-the-pro black tees. Competition is 7,527 meters, which is the fifth longest in the world. The silver, which you guys are playing off on Sunday, is 6,478. So it's a kilometer less. <laughs> yes. A kilometer less, people. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Madness. Madness. <laughs> Number That's one a lot of ground, eh? yeah. is Jade Dragon Snow Mountain Country Club in or Golf Club in China at 7,800 meters. Like, do the Chinese hit it that far? What's the what's the story there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do they actually have space there? Yeah. Yes. 
Well, it looks it's in Dragon Snow Mountain. Maybe that's why it's so long. <laughs> Eating it down cliffs. <laughs> the SA Open played in December 2022 22 last year, and they're actually, actually playing it now in, um, I think, December again, or end of November. So you guys are going to be very lucky to play um, an SA Open uh, course. Player Athol uh, and the Equestrian Estate was built on Gary Player's former Gauteng home and stud farm. Yeah. Mm. Interessant, Mana. This is what the layout very looks much. like. If you haven't played yet, so you just kind of wind your way around. The I can state. guess that this is Blair Ethel, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> good guess, Fricky, good guess. Thank you, thank you. Um, Mr. Jacques Gravenstein, who's a member of Blair Ethel, did us a huge favor by um, grabbing the, the, the Blair Ethel director of golf, Mr. Paul Marks, and uh, having a chat with him. And this is a little preview to it. Hi everybody and welcome to Blair Athol. Um, my name is Paul Marks, I'm a Director of Golf and PGA Master Professional um, and it's my privilege to welcome all, all of you here on Sunday to what is one of your main duck hook majors. Um, this, uh, all of you that are playing here have qualified to play in this major and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the Blair Athol experience. Just a couple of things about the golf course, you'll be going to be, well, the, the gentleman will be playing off the club tee which is silver. This is a new, new uh, tee that we've uh, developed over the last year or so. You'll find it very playable, very manageable, but because of the greens being so big and the greens running at about 10 and a half on the stem meter, you will be tested in terms of the putting. Uh, the lady golfers will be playing off white, that's our ladies club tee as well. Just a couple of things, we're coming out of uh, winter, so we are a little dry, we're waiting for rain, we've done a lot of course prep for the South African Open Championship, which will be here on the 30th of November to the 3rd of December, and I'm sure, although this preferred lies one club length, you're going to enjoy the course and its layout, and it's going to present a stern test. Thanks again, Jock. Um, yes, boys, there it is. Silver Tees is uh, explained everything you need to know. Yeah. Uh, yeah mate, so, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for that, Jock and uh, Mr. Paul. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I've played a couple of times. Uh, it is going to be a little bit dry. Uh, looking forward to a couple of holes, especially that signature hole, and then uh, 17th, uh, part two, part threes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think it's going to be fun, guys. I'm going to show you the field now. Donnie, you've played there. You like it. Let's just go with you first, quick. Yeah, I've, I've played there, I think, like three, four times. So, um, always a, a stunning course. Um, I, I can't remember all the holes off the, off the bat, but, uh, yeah, it's like every time I played there, I enjoyed it. Um, it, is a, it is a challenge. Definitely is a challenge. Um, uh, Peter Zax is really looking forward to Blair. I thought, never played, can't wait. Same as you, Donna. You never yeah. played there? No, never played there. Awesome. It's going to be lovely. interesting. It's different. Really going to enjoy it. I mean, like, it's the clubhouse is spectacular. The facilities are really good. The driving range makes you feel like a pro. Um, yeah, really nice. Um, Maz, I'm if sure. I can quickly interrupt yeah. just from, from there, is, uh, you know, when everybody's there, you know, just take your time. You know, it's like if you walk through a little bit, like uh, before the pro shop and down the stairs and mm -hmm. stuff and upstairs. You'll see a lot of memorabilia from Gary, you know, it's like over the years, um, I think, you know, there's a couple of photos and stuff there. So, you know, that's history. That's his history. Mm. You know, so it's nice just to check, you know, and have a look at what is there, you know, a couple of trophies and all that stuff. So, so yeah. If you want to see Cheers. proper change rooms, friends, proper change rooms, <laughs> go do those change rooms. Make use of those change rooms. Take your shirt off and put it on a hanger <laughs> and hang it in and then put your shoes like a... Because you'll know what I mean, and have a sit on the big couches and uh, and uh, drink your water, or whatever it is that you're going to drink. Or your beer. And I think they have a, a beer thingy down there in the clubhouse as well, in, in the pro, in the change room. Um, to really enjoy the experience, I mean, make use of it, act yeah. like a professional, and then go yeah. and uh, play it. Uh, Martin says we'd love to play Blair off the black tea as well. I'm sure you could play it off the black teas. Um, Get hold of Jacques because they have a tournament called the Beast of something. Yeah. What is Battle it? Battle of the Beast or something. Battle yeah. of the Beasts. Uh, or Battle yeah. of the Beast. And um, they play yeah. at the back. 
and normally they enter four balls. So there's your opportunity. I'm sure yeah. anybody who wants to do it, Jacques will uh, get you in there. No As flip flops allowed. They will chase you out. Ask Harat Kharba. No flip chops allowed, people. It's a proper golf course. This isn't yeah. Bononi Lakes. Come on. <laughs> Basil, just a quick thing uh, again on Blair Athol. Remember that uh, when we did the um, halfway houses, I think Blair Athol was number one. So keep okay. in mind that you're going to witness the number one By the river. halfway house uh, in South mm. Africa. So, yeah, enjoy it. By the little river. Yeah, correct. Yeah. After eight holes. Yeah. And uh, halfway, as far as I know, include it. And mm. you're going to have a ball. Yes. It's, it's lovely food there. Okay. Um, you want to see the field? Now, this field, everybody, please take note of who's watching. I officially am done with the players and I'm handing it over to Fricky. All right, so Fricky will send out, do the broadcast group, he'll send out the information. Uh, this is how the field <laughs> is, and this is exactly the, how the ranking of player points earned is. This has changed. What happened? No, man. Hold on, hold on. Should I pull in another one? Hold on, hold on. That changed. I'm going to have to look for it. So let me, let me. Let me do that. I'm going to say, what I'm going to say is, uh, here's hole one, right? And then Donnie, and can take us through hole one when I look for this field, because I had it. That was an old field. Dush. Hole one, par five, down the hill. You can't see where you're heading to. And then uh, you got, it runs all the way down to the right. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I would say, uh, Fricky, I don't know if you agree, that's like more like a three-shotter, you know, because you can see uh, right of the green is uh, trouble. Yeah. So you want to try and avoid that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Though, normally the second shot is about uh, look, we look for Donnie and then it's probably going to be like a shortage, well, longer island, uh, iron like a six or so. But I mean, with that water on the right hand side, you're not sure if the, the greens are going to bite. Uh, maybe you want to have a three shorter. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a three shot today. I'll probably have about 240 in. You cannot so go the for it too. Sorry? You cannot go for it in two. I can tell you uh, that. Much. Watch me. Uh, could be a beast, eh? You don't know, oh, eh? <laughs> But yeah, look, uh, there's a couple of guys that has gone for for two previously that that I've witnessed. So uh, and remember, the the silver tees is is a little bit more to the front as well. So it's mm. not as long as what we used to. Uh, I think choose we normally play of golf. Choose me a hole there, gentlemen, and then number we'll three. Go for it. Number three. Now this is the <laughs> Augusta esque hole. Absolutely. Uh, it plays about 170, 180, if I'm not mistaken. Could be a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a fun hole. Uh, it's the signature hole. And uh, yeah, I think the guys will really enjoy that one. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things here at the same time. Let me just do this. I'm trying to get this field for you. But um, I have to jump to other screens. Uh, give me a hole, Donnie. Uh, I think if I'm... Thinking about the same hole um, that I'm thinking of, it's actually the par four straight after that par three. I think it's a, quite a okay. like a dog leg leftish. This par one, four. so you hit it along this river here, and if you hit I a draw, you just keep following the river. That's it. That's it. Uh, you know, I remember it's like you can't cut that corner too much, but if you if you go too long, you you tend to go almost into those bunkers there at the back. So all depending on where the tee is, I think the tee shot's going to be very important there. And also very tight, um, very, very tight, because from the green, it, like the mouth of the green really goes down. I think this is going to open for us. <gasps> okay. Um, boom. Oh, gosh. Everything's just a mess. Hold on a second. Let me just take this thing out. Here's the field. Sorry. I got it for you. Starting at 9.30, Jacques Graham and Steen, Sorrell, Stain, Ryan Jensen, Hans Mann. Handicaps are in. I'll, uh, this will be sent out to everybody. Um, <sighs> This, like I said, this is still ranking space, 100%. So I'm, I'm sure one or two people are going to ask to be shifted around it. But just consider, before you ask, is that the majors are normally the ranking points uh, so that the, the, the guys who earn the least go first and the guys who earn the last. As you can see, Rakesh, Martin, Jason, and Donna all had one events in the lead-up to this. And Francois, yeah. Mazza, Stoltz, yeah. Mazza, can I can I put in a request? Mm. It's not to move to somebody to my four balls, to remove somebody from my four ball. Oh, dude, uh, shut up, yeah, man. Yes, like <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I have to spend like the next four rounds, three out of the four rounds, I'm gonna play with Fricky. <laughs> oh, that's, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe we can fun, move man. you. Where would you like to go? 
<laughs> yeah, no, I'm just not <laughs> um, But as you can see, there's an hour and a half tea of time. So if you are teeing off um, towards the back, you've got a extra time to chill, especially if you're watching the rugby and you're going to have uh, one too many, shall we yes. say. Right. Um, I'm going to send this to Mr. Frickadell and he'll do his thing with it. Fantastic. Like it. I'll put it on the, you, you saw me put it on the duck group. Yeah, no. we can do that. No problem. And then uh, all the little things. I don't think any access codes are required. Things like that, you just phone in and just make sure that you get enough time. Not phone in. When you get there, they'll scan and do that. Yeah, they'll scan you. And yeah. off you go. And then you enjoy it. Metal. Don't forget it's metal. Boom. Correct, yeah. I'm going to see who the champion's going to be. And, and, and guys, bring your best club. behavior, guys. Uh, remember, it is a Lani club. It is one of those uh, hmm. uh, private clubs, for instance. So, please, uh, we cannot misbehave. Uh, it's, it's a name. Not that we do, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying that it, Never. you need to have a proper... Just ask Dana, he's the most well-behaved guy he's in bed by eight. <laughs> Except an eagle. Yeah. Um, no baggy pants. Proper dress clothes. Yeah, don't wear those shorts with the big um, pockets on them. You know those yeah, no to go fishing with. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's it from me, boys. Um, until we meet again next week, because next week we'll go through what happened at the, at the Players' Champs. And we'll look forward to a Cassia. If you haven't booked a Cassia, please do so soonest. Um, I need to, it's so soon. We need to start finalizing things already. Jay, just don't end, that's all I can tell you. Uh, and no dancing on the tables. Yes, Yaku, Yaku, please, no dancing on the tables. <laughs> all right, that's it from me, boys. Thank you uh, very much, gentlemen. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Yeah. Have a lovely Peace. week. And I will uh, see you on the chat lines. Donna, thank you for joining us. Last words with you. Yeah, cheers. Um, I'll see you guys next week after um, winning the players. Yo, you do that. You do. Um, Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Just remember to load him for false if he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to talk I'm to Ryan very to quickly. Yeah. Yes, some motivation for you as we leave. I never lose. I will succeed, not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. I will take action when others hesitate. I will think big when others don't. I will sacrifice when others won't. I will dare to dream of greatness when others fear it. I will outwork my competition day and night. The one who is hungrier to reach the top will always get there before the talented guy. Maybe not immediately, but in the end, hungry always wins. In the end, hard work always wins. In the end, heart wins. Courage wins. In the end, the one who is more dedicated to reach the top will win.